Hello everyone! I am Ruth Norton from Ruth Stamping Corner and I am so glad that you are joining me today. I am, I have a really cute, I'm here to offer a really cute treat to share with you guys today, a little treat box. We're going to make this today. It is so cute. Um, I'll show you what's inside in just a minute, but um, we're going to make this. It's so cute and it's so easy to make. You guys could easily make a bunch of these in no time. Um, so we're going to make this. We're going to distract from everything that's going on right now and we're going to have fun here. Okay. <laughs> so let's just um, get on. So while we're waiting for people to, to hop onto the Facebook live, I do want to go over it. Just a couple of things. Um, Paper Pumpkin. The last day to subscribe for January's Paper Pumpkin Kit is on Sunday the 10th. So if you are not subscribed by January 10th on Sunday, um, you won't get this month's kit. And this month's kit is going to be adorable. It is, um, it's going to create eight cards. You're going to get eight envelopes with that. There's also a special add-on that you can purchase in the online store. You do have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to be able to purchase the add-on. But um, you can purchase the add-on and then you'll get to make eight cards and 20 boxes with your kit. So that's a pretty amazing deal. So um, make sure you are subscribed by January 10th. And the link to subscribe is in the video description. So you can check that out. Um, our basic white products are available. If you guys remember last month, I mentioned that um, our Whisper white products were being discontinued because of the paper mail having to shut down from COVID. Um, but Stampin' Up! has found a replacement, the basic white products. As soon as I get them in my hands, they are being shipped to me. I just ordered them yesterday. So as soon as I get them, I will let you know what I think of them. I'll compare them to our Whisper White products and let you know. But I'm excited about them. Okay, guys. Hey, this is a new promotion coming in February. But I wanted to let you guys know about it now because some of you may already have some, this product. And um, you can put these in your starter kit right now if you wanted to purchase that starter kit. But this is going to be the Hey Chicken, Hey Birthday Chick um promotion and if you guys saw in the in the mini catalog there's a stamp set called hey birthday chick it's this one it's the with the little chickens and if you have been around stamping it for a while you may remember back in 2017 they had a celebration stamp set that was called hey chick and it was so popular um so they're bringing back that stamp set for you to purchase if you already own it you are golden you're set but they're bringing back that stamp set um, there's also dies that will coordinate with that stamp set. And then the Hey Birthday Chick will also have dies that will coordinate with it. Now, this is not available until February 2nd, but demonstrators can get it right now. And you can put this in your starter kit now. So it's just a fantastic deal. And the starter kit, again, is an amazing deal, especially during celebration. So um, if you are interested in that Hey Chick promotion, you can contact me and I'll get you more information. Okay, so I have two different classes that are up for registration right now. Um, I have my card crate, which features the Always In is it? Always in My Heart bundle. Um, we're going to make four projects. We're making this box and then three gorgeous cards. All the details for card crate are on my blog, and the link to that is in the video description. The second class that I have right now open is my Stampin' Bingo which will take place at the end of the month via Zoom. And that one features the Sweet Strawberry stamp set. And so I'll show you those cards really quick too. They are some of my favorites. They are super cute cards. And um, that one again features the Sweet Strawberry stamp set and that we're using today too. So if you love the Sweet Strawberry stamp set, consider the bingo because it's going to be, It's first of all, it's just gonna be a ton of fun. We're just gonna get together with uh, on Zoom. Um, we're going to play some bingo. We're going to do some stamping. So it's just going to be all together super fun. Okay, celebration, like I said, best time of year. Everything in here is free, but you can only earn it with a purchase. Um, some of them have a $50 threshold to earn, and some of them have a $100 threshold to earn. So um, make sure you look into this and make sure you add these products on when your order is over $50 or more. Now, that starter kit that I mentioned, if you do want to join Stampin' Up!, it's a fantastic deal. You can join Stampin' Up! for only $99. You get to choose $125 worth product, and those Hey Chick products can be part of what you choose in your starter kit. You choose $125, and then you're also going to get five stacks of designer series paper for free. So, um, fantastic deal, fantastic deal. Um, all around, if you're interested in joining, there's also a link in the video description to join, or you can contact me. I'd love to talk to you more about it. 
Okay, now before we, here's the Hey Birthday Check. Here's the kit. Here it is in the catalog. I'm going to pull that up for you guys. But that's the Hey Birthday Check. There will be dies coming in February with that, as well as the, they're bringing back the Hey Check from the um, celebration from a long time ago. All right, this is the bundle we're using today. We are using the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. And so that, this is the Punch Bundle. And I know Punch Bundles are always super popular. People love Punch Bundles. And I, I love this one. It's a nice big one. Um, and I just, I have not stopped using this. And I love the greetings on here. I just love the fonts. Um, the scripty font compared with like that typewriter font. I just love. I have been using this a ton, you guys. I've already shared two different projects in um, Facebook Lives that feature this stamp set. So and you guys are going to see a ton more. I just adore this, this bundle. So let's get to making our project. So I need to bring in my Simply Scored. We're going to do some scoring. So this, here's the little box we're making. And let me show you guys what's inside of it. So I was at Target on Saturday, I think, Saturday or Sunday, and I found these. These are strawberry cream Hershey's hearts. Now, um, they're so cute. I've had, I had to taste test them because what good would I be if I didn't taste test them, right? So I had to taste test them, and they're, they're pretty tasty. Now, they are... Um, milk chocolate which is not my favorite i'm a dark chocolate fan but these are actually really they're pretty good so if you um if you see these in your in your local store again i got them at target but i'm sure that other places have them too but um you can fit four in here perfectly but if you don't have these again like any candy is gonna fit in here so you can fit some hershey kisses some hershey nuggets some little dove chocolates those are always good too so um you can fit a bunch of different things in here so all right now to make it and one of the things that I love so much about this box, too, is that you can get two per eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. So you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is seven by five and a quarter. So we're going to start on the seven inch side and we're going to score it at half an inch at two and a quarter at three and three quarters and at five and a half. Now, don't worry about trying to write down all these measurements. I'll make sure to put them in the video description. Um, on Facebook and they will be in the video description on YouTube and they'll also be on my blog um, tomorrow morning as well when this post goes up. All right now we're going to rotate it to the five and a quarter inch side and we're going to score it at one and at one and three quarters and at three and three quarters. Okay so that is I think that's right and a momentary judgment thing that I thought that was wrong, but I think it's correct. I think we're good. Okay, so we're going to burnish on all those score lines. This is a really important step, especially when you're making boxes, because our, our cardstock is nice and thick and sturdy, and burnishing them really creates those sharp um, edges and those sharp score lines that really make that box come together nice and clean. So, okay, let's do some trimming. I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming. So we have the half inch tab over here this is going to be our glue tab so we're going to this is the bottom so your two score lines on the top that's going to be your top so you have one score line on the bottom here so that's the bottom so we're going to cut up this one and we're going to notch in we're going to kind of take that tab away we're going to free this tab up for for gluing now the the box has a longer one shorter longer shorter on the shorter ones, we're gonna notch in. So we're gonna go straight up on the long ones, and then we're just gonna notch in a little bit on the the more narrow ones. We're gonna call them shorter because they're all the same kind of, they're all the same height. But you'll see what I mean in just a second. Let me let me just trim that one just a little bit more. When I notch in, I um, I'm essentially removing that score line that we made. And by taking out that score line completely, it makes your box go together much easier. So up that score line, and then I'm just going to kind of cut that out. And then just to make our box go to, oh, oh my goodness, I just stabbed my phone with my scissors. Sorry, guys. Oh, Lord. Okay. So we're just going to notch this side in too. So this is the bottom. So we've notched in on these, these more narrow tabs, and on these tabs we've just cut straight up. Now for the other side... We are going to cut off this half inch piece completely. I'm going to notch in a little bit here. 
And then again on the, the big sides, we're going to keep these all intact. And then, so we're going to cut up this way on the big, on the wider ones. So pretty much just like you did on the bottom. So we're going to cut those up. And then we're going to do just a little bit more trimming on those narrow ones. So I'm going to fold the, the bigger ones out of the way because it's just going to help me. We're going to cut this tab off completely at that score line. We don't need that one. And then we'll just trim these slightly at an angle because that will help our, our box fold in nice and secure. So I'm going to cut this tab off and then just cut these at an angle just like that. Okay. All that trash out of the way. So this is what your box looks like right now. And then we're going to bring in our delightful tag topper punch. We have a lot of different tag topper punches in the catalog. This one I like, it's it's kind of fancy. So I like this one. Now on the top, we're just gonna kind of push that through. Now you do need to kind of like finagle it so like the box goes under it. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So the box is kind of, I've pushed it all the way under it. So when we get it on this side, we can just center it in between here. This is, um, I'll show you the grooves in here have grooves for um, one inch, one and a half, and then two inches, I believe are the measurements here. So you do kind of have to finagle it to get it in there, but it's it totally works, guys. Don't worry about it. It doesn't really fit in the groove because it's a box, but you just want to kind of finagle it to, it'll line up perfectly between these little notches on the end there. And you punch it and slide it out and there you go so that is the entire box all trimmed up okay so move that punch out of the way and now we're going to assemble it so really that's all you that's all the trimming and then assembling it is super easy so if you are making a bunch of these you could do them like assembly line style do all the scoring then do all the trimming then do all the adhering so all i did was i put some glue here i'm using stainless steel plus this will just fold over just like this now these sides that we notched in will go in. This is our back and this is our front. So I'm gonna put some glue on here on the front and that will just fold right over just like that. And that is our cute, cute little box. So these will fold in just like that. Isn't that cute? Now, if you wanted to, I left mine kind of open like, like that so it doesn't sit completely flat. If you wanted it to sit completely flat, you can adhere it all down when it's all filled and when you're all done with it um but i'm not going to do that so i'm going to stick in my little strawberry hearts fit four in there you might be able to fit five too but i think four is a nice little a nice little treat so um we're going to set this aside for just a minute and we'll come back to it we're going to do some stamping okay so i have a two inch soft sea foam circle that i've punched out with the two inch circle punch and then i just have scraps of white um granny apples green and poppy parade and we're going to do all our stamping on these so let me get out our ink i'm going to start with my memento on our box i've stamped all of the outline detail ones in memento so that is what we're going to do now you do want to take note of your punch and how it's going to punch because that will help you conserve a little bit of paper i'm going to make sure that yeah i'll be able to fit that in there so the strawberry is upside down but since I'm using this little strip, it, it doesn't matter too much which way I, I stamp it. But because it is upside down, I'm going to stamp it upside down. So we're going to start with the little detail piece. I like to start with the, the detail piece and then fill it in with the other piece. But you could do it either way. It, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going to do the leaves. And the leaves are kind of pointing. Is this the detail one? Yeah. So the leaves are pointing this way. So I'm going to make sure that we stamp it that way because that will help us conserve that cardstock. Okay, and then our last detail piece is the, is the little flower here, and I'm going to stamp that on some white, just right here. And that one you can kind of finagle in to figure, to figure out how to fit that in. Okay, that is all with our memento, so I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to bring in all the coordinating colors now for the strawberry and the, the stem. We're stamping tone on tone, so I'm going to pull out my granny apple green for my for my leaf here and then I'm just going to line this up and stamp it down it's going to give some nice tone on tone green I love that I'm going to set that aside that's all for the green apple green move that out of the way 
um, the Poppy Parade. We're going to stamp our strawberry. And that's going to go right over top. And it's just going to add some really nice shading. Love that. Um, we're also stamping the greeting that comes in that stamp set and Poppy Parade just for you. And that's it with our Poppy Parade. Let's move that out of the way. And then we have some Daffodil Delight. And that we're going to fill in our, our flower here. Let's see. Ooh, can I line this up? We'll see. Perfect. And finally, we have a little bit more stamping to do. We're going to use this larger outline flower in soft sea foam. And we're just going to kind of decorate the this back piece. Let me get some scrap paper out because I do not want to, I don't want to stamp on my, my mat here. So I'm just going to use the soft sea foam. Oh, let me just start over. I should be using my foam pad under this, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. So I'm just stamping that flower over and over again just to add some fun texture to this back piece. Okay, so that is all of our stamping. So let's get to assembling everything now. All right, I have a piece of, oh, you know what? Let's punch everything out before we get to the rest of the assembly. So my strawberry punch, let's fit that in here. Punch that out. So I have that piece. I have my leaf piece, and because we oriented it with the the direction of the punch, it's easy to just feed it right in. Push the trash out of the way, and then the flower over here. We're just going to maneuver that till it's in the right place and punch that out. There's our flower, and then we have our. Our greeting and I'm using a one inch circle punch and this is actually a retired punch but I'm sure that a lot of you have a one inch circle punch so um and if not just look at your look at your stash of products I'm sure you have something that will that will work all right this piece of DSP we're going to wrap around the box and this is from the very delightful DSP this is a celebration item you get this along with I'm gonna have cool these patterns I love that red or white check I haven't cut into that yet um, look at that blue. Oh my gosh. I love this one. Um, you get this free as a celebration product. It comes bundled with the Berry Blessings stamp set. So that is a celebration option that you can get free with a, um, hundred dollar order. So we're going to adhere this onto the, the box. And this piece is one and three fourths by seven. So it's just going to wrap around and I'm going to start in the front. So I'm going to find the back of my box. And I'm going to start in the front because that seam is going to be covered. So I'd rather start in the front and cover that seam than start in the back and then the seam will be exposed. So I put adhesive on it and I'm just, I'm literally just wrapping it around. You could kind of fit it and fold it beforehand, but since we're just gluing it down all together, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so that is our, our little box the seam in the front right now let's build up our little our piece that goes on the front so i'm going to start with my strawberry you need some tombow liquid glue you could use a glue dot for this too if you don't like um liquid glue this is just the little topper of our strawberry it's just going to go right on there just like that and my dimensionals i'm going to add a dimensional here add my strawberry off to the side there I'm gonna add another dimensional kind of right next to my strawberry and that's gonna hold on to my, my little just for you greeting. And then I'm going to just cut one of these edge pieces of my dimensional, just like half a dimensional for the flower. You could also use mini dimensionals and actually I'm just gonna stick that right onto my tag as well, just so we don't have adhesive hanging over. And the little flower is just gonna stick on just like that. Okay, now to finish off the, the little flower, these are our opal rounds. These are brand new in the mini catalog and they are, they are gorgeous. I love these. So I'm going to take one of the smaller ones. I'm just going to stick that right in the middle of my flower. They're kind of, um, I don't know, they kind of pick up the color that they're on and they're very fun. I love them a lot. And then this is going to go right on our box. So find my dimensionals again. And 
and we'll just put a couple dimensionals right on our box. And then I think you guys know what our last step is going to be. It's going to be the ribbon. <laughs> you guys can see I've been putting off this ribbon for a while. So we have this cute little bow on the top and I am using the polka dot tool ribbon for this because I just I love this little the whimsicalness of it and okay so this goes through the hole now if you wanted to glue your whole box completely close this is at the point you would do it but I, I like it just kind of open and then your recipient doesn't have to tear the box apart to get it okay wish me luck guys so we're gonna do like a nice long fluffy bow with this polka dot tool ribbon now the polka dot tool it's so fun and it makes such pretty bows but you don't want to tighten it right away because once you tighten it then it kind of stretches out the ribbon and then it's hard to get it to it's hard to finagle it I guess so you just want to kind of lightly pull it do all your finagling and then once you get it the way you want it then you can pull it nice and tight okay you know what, I think this is gonna be as good as it's gonna get for a video, so. And super cute, so nice fluffy little bow. If you wanna trim those ends a little bit, you can do that. All right, so that is it. That is our super cute little treat box with our strawberry cream chocolate hearts inside. I hope you guys like this. Remember, if you do need to order any supplies, please head to my online store, use this host code. And if you place an order um, in January, February, I'm that is over $50 more using the host code of the month, I will be mailing out some free celebration classes at the end March. So um, it's going to be four cards and it's going to be a free class. It's going to be so much fun. So make sure you head to my online store, place that order for your free class. And if you have any questions on anything, please let me know. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you join my VIP group because I will be going live every single Saturday during celebration with a celebration project. So um, I will be live starting this Saturday at 10 a.m. in my VIP group. So if you are not already a member of my VIP group, make sure you join my VIP group. All right, guys, have a fantastic week and I will see you guys next week. Bye.